Ron, after after the last game, um, you know, how do you feel like this group uh, was feeling during shoot around today and, and, and recapturing maybe some energy? Yeah, I think we're focused um, on our game plan. We got a great game plan. I think we're uh, looking forward to the challenge tonight. LeBron, you guys uh, dropped the last two away games. How do you guys not drop this game? Uh, we got to come in with discipline, uh, maximum effort, some energy, um, and some sense of urgency, obviously. Um, it's going to be very key to our success, and, uh, and if we do that, we drop play in the second position. Win. LeBron, you guys are 60 games in. Everybody's got the bumps and bruises. Yeah. It's kind of the, the major of the season. Yeah. How do you guys get that defensive intensity yeah. effort back up when everything else would be working kind of against that? Right, right. So, I mean, that's what we got to figure out and find out. You know, we got to be able to, you know, to bring that energy and effort in the defensive end because it sparks our offense. And, uh, and, it, and it's fun when you get multiple stops, you're able to stop a team and then get out and, and do what you want to do offensively. So, you know, we, that's, that's our main goal every game, and uh, we know we have to be better today. Lonzo being out, what have you guys missed most about not having him? <clears throat> um, well, we obviously we missed another ball handler, another playmaker. Um, a guy that is very, very good defensively. Um, you know, with his ability to just steal, be able to pressure the defensive, uh, be pressure the offensive point guard, um, and then, you know, push the pace for us, you know, get into our early offense. So we miss that a lot. How much does he help because of the size and the switching you guys been trying to do? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's one thing That's one thing that's good with our team. We have, uh, you know, a lot of guys that can play multiple positions, but our length is very, uh, very enticing. So, uh, you know, with Zoe being out, you know, that's taking a little bit of our length out and a little bit of our athleticism as well. Last time you were here, um, Penny was sitting courtside and it looked like you had a couple words. What, what, is the, what does he mean to you as a player and, and sort of also here being in Memphis and, and having the job? Yeah, has? I mean, Penny is one of my favorite players growing up. Uh, you know, I, I kind of idolized Michael Jordan, but I wanted to be like Penny. I just didn't think I could get to Michael Jordan's heights. Uh, you know, so, you know, Penny was that, you know, that point forward that I kind of, you know, resembled, you know, uh, uh, you know, wanted to be kind of flashy and be able to handle the ball at that size and be able to post up smaller guards at that size. And um, I think it's great for the city that he's back here um, along with my very, very dear good friend, Mike Miller, uh, you know, him uh, being a part of, you know, that, that Memphis uh, program. So. You know, it's always great to see uh, someone that you kind of looked up to uh, when you were growing up. Can that be a game changer, having a guy like that being a part of college basketball like that? I don't know. I'm the last person to talk about college basketball. You didn't do chips too after Space Jam? Huh? You didn't do chips too after Space Jam? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know who, who has the rights to that. I have to look into that. Uh, uh, no, I gotta look into that. <laughs> hey, LeBron, Ingram's been kind of inching his way up the leaderboard in free throw attempts. Uh, I think he's up to 21st right now. You've always been up in the, in the top. Uh, I just wonder how much of a, getting to the line is conscious versus it's just a, a, a kind of effect of your game. You know, I think it's effect of your game, how aggressive you're being, you know, how you're able to um, you know create angles and things of that nature, keep the defense at bay. Uh, I think Bi has been very aggressive lately, getting to getting to the paint, um, also mixing and matching with his pull-up game. So. Um, it's allowed him to get to the free throw line. LeBron, with 22 games left, do you feel any pressure at all as the games dwindle down? Nah, I don't believe in pressure. I don't. But what, what are your thoughts on the idea of the NBA is talking with the associations about having kids coming to high school playing basketball again? Uh, and going to college just yeah. for the big um, dude. I think the guys that did it Yeah, I, I ain't one of the guys that did it successfully. And you had some guys that have been unsuccessful, but, you know, you know, if you look at our rap sheet, you look at myself, you look at Kobe, you look at KG, Tracy McGrady, um, Dwight Howard, uh, you know, in his heyday, obviously. Um, you look at a couple more guys, I mean, we've uh, been very successful as well with that, with that rate, you know, us coming straight out of high school. So um, I think it's a conversation that can be had. Um, and, and if we decide to do it, I think um, we, you know, the kids have to come in and be ready to play uh, against going to college for one year. So, you know, we see. Do you think the league's in a better position to develop those guys who maybe aren't quite as ready just because of the I think our G League is in a better position years than it was uh, than it was years ago. Um, you know, having that farm system, you know, it definitely helps out a lot. Thanks, what has Reggie Bullock brought to the team since he's joined the last Um a sniper that we that we um, you know love to have a part of our team, a guy who's gonna play, uh, you know, as hard as you can defensively. Guard whoever he needs to guard, they take the best matchup on the opposing team as he did James Harden other night. Uh, the, you know, the other night with uh, Drew Holiday, he would take, um, you know, he would do that. That's, 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 that's great guy. How much do you have to guard against looking past the struggling Grizzlies team? Nah, no, we, sure, we struggle. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we, don't have, we don't have, we can't be looking past nobody. We struggling too, so, you know, we, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the privilege of looking past anybody.